about 24 hours, we got the memo that Strive was coming to Brooklyn, right here at St. Vitus Bar. And I was very excited because it's been a while since you guys played Brooklyn. What was the last time in your memory that you guys played Brooklyn? Uh, it was a, it was a while ago. We were playing. We played like some weird show with weird weird bands. It was fun, but tonight was definitely the best. Yeah, it was good. It's been a while since I saw a hardcore show like this in Brooklyn, especially because most of us, you know, the city has changed a lot. Like many other big cities, like for example, LA is the same thing. Sure. But it's cool to have like a venue like St. Vitus, which is representing the underground music that we love. You know. I mean, it was put together in like a day, 24 hours. The show was put together. That's like kind of like the hardcore spirit, I guess. It was like super touch, suburban scum. It was pretty, pretty amazing that it, it came together. I was a little nervous. I didn't know what to expect, but it, you know, it came together really, really well, and I think it was a fantastic show. This is obviously a great platform for you guys having the new album out finally. It's right now, guys. You guys got to check it out. I want to talk a little bit about your concept behind it. You know, your lyrics. What, what were you going for this time around? I mean, I mean to be honest, like we, you know, we're all like grown-ups. We all, you know, have jobs. We have lives. Uh, I think hardcore music for us um, has always been a form of release, a form of you know getting together with like-minded people that we, you know, feel comfortable with, and. Um, <laughs> You know, it got it got weird back in the day. It got a little violent. We we're not really into the violence, and you know, we took a break. We figured out our own shit, and uh, why not have fun? You know, make a record and have fun, and here we are. And I think it was a really good time. It was fun. You know, I don't really ca we don't really care about the whatever it could be. You know, we just we just want to play and. Get, get some rocks off and have a good time, man. You know, that's what it is. And when you say that the straightest life saved your life, when was the moment that you kind of said, hey, I got to shift my life pattern to be able to kind of, you know, be a better human being to myself? I mean, as far as not being straight edge? Um, well, you know, I think, I mean, uh, we were doing the thing. I was straight edge. The band was straight edge. Um, for me personally, <laughs> it got too violent, you know. Mm -hmm. Got it, it was like, what are we? What are you like, Nazis? Like you're like fascists, you know? Straight edge for me personally was about you know bettering myself and keeping myself out of trouble, and trying to uh, set an example for the people around me. Not not trying to be like a hard ass, not trying to like fight people, and not trying to like hurt people because they weren't like me. I mean, the first straight edge show that I went to or the first yeah basically straight edge show that I went to I was a punk rock kid I was wearing a subhuman shirt I had a spiked hair I you know was drinking I was smoking and all that stuff and and everybody was really cool it was it, I, I felt accepted no matter you know what I looked like and I think you know towards the end of the 90s I got really disenchanted with it because it seemed like a gang mentality, a very uh, fascist mentality. And uh, fast forward to now, I think a lot of straight, I mean, so far, uh, it seems like a very, you know, welcoming, it seems like a very diverse, accepting way of lifestyle, you know, hardcore in general. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. It, it's, it's not one thing or, or, or the other. It seems like a lot of kids getting along, having a good time, it's not about what you look like or, you know, what bands are cool or whatever, whatever. It's just about like, you know, you got to go to you got to go to work tomorrow. You got to go to school tomorrow. You got to deal with your your folks tomorrow. And it sucks sometimes. And so you come to shows like this on a Monday night in Brooklyn and you fucking sweat and you bleed a little bit. And it's it's a good thing. You know, that's it's good. Absolutely. Straight edge or not, you know, yeah, it doesn't matter where you come from. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't. I think that's the important thing to, to get across, yeah. All right, man, I want to thank you. I told you I wasn't going to keep you. Thank you. And again, you know, come back more often, you know what I'm saying? I would like to, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's send a shout-out to all the Strive fans watching right now. Hi, thanks for watching. Strike's <laughs> <laughs> not a hardcore show unless you have a black guy. Don't punch her. That's punch her. Her. No. I got a fucking tooth. Kick her in the kit. I don't give a shit. <laughs> a Monday night? A Monday night is only good if you play when you go home.
Monday night. It's not a hardcore show unless she leaves in an ambulance. I swear if you know that girl, it's true. Whatever, do it. Let's go to the I will take a shit on you. He has, and he will.